Today I'm going to show you a trick that I learned using Canva for making your own planner. And you can use this planner for anything you like, but what I use it for is putting down, um, planning out promotions. In, in fact, keeping track of what promotions I have going, because I tend to have a lot of promotions going at the same time. And after a while it gets confusing. So I created this chart for myself because calendars, regular calendars don't seem to work for me. And this particular kind of planner can fit into a three ring binder, as I'll show you. Anyway, I will show you what I did on Canva to create my first planner. Now, as you can see, there are lines on this, horizontal lines. I've uploaded a template that includes horizontal lines. And in order to get that column, I went over to Elements, right there on the left, on the left, <laughs> right there on the left. Anyway, when you click on the line, it'll come up like that, and you can extend it the way I'm extending it there. In addition, on the left, you'll also see text. That's where I got the text from. And I click on that now, and I add that to the column. And you can also make copies by clicking on text and then clicking copy, which is up in the right-hand corner. Now, as you can see, if you look at this, this is the original planner, and it's a bit cramped, to say the least. So what I did is I made some adjustments, and they're very easy to do, as I'm going to show you right now. Okay, on the first page of this document, as you can see, I've got six months planned out. What I'm going to do is reduce it down to three months per page. So instead of a four-page, I mean two-page planner, I'm going to have a four-page planner. And I've done that by deleting two of the lines and I'm going to delete some of the headings and recenter the rest of them. I'll just let you watch that. You can see how I'm moving things around with the cursor and there's a delete function that you use to get rid of stuff. Then moving on to the second page, what I did was scroll down to the second page, delete those lines, and started um, copy. And you see what I did with the cursor? I went down to the right and there's a copy um, uh, icon down there that'll let you copy that page exactly. And I end up with a four page planner and I can rearrange the headings to my heart's content and eventually end up with this, the um, four page planner that I was telling you about. And you can see I have the last three months there. And there you have it. It's really quite easy. There are a lot of tutorials on Canva, actually, as to how to use it, but I wanted to show you the basics. So, as you can see, with a little ingenuity, you can save a lot of money on buying planners and adapt them for your own use. So, that's pretty much the point today. And uh, I hope this has been helpful, and I'll talk to you later.